All praise, honor, and infinite glory goes to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. And Yahweh is the true name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Double honors to the apostles, and elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel today. And if you do not look like a typical Black, Hispanic, and Native American, you can still be an Israelite through your father's seed line. If your father's seed line goes back to an Israelite man, and your spirit, okay, your spirit's proof that you are an Israelite, Okay, because you can accept this 100% word, okay, this message, the gospel. Gospel meaning good news. And the 100% truth comes out of the camp of Great Millstone. So you're drawn to this word, no doubt about it. You're sincere and genuine, and you have faith gifted from the Most High, which you can't fake. And you fit the curses of Deuteronomy at the 28th chapter. I'm the brother Zakar from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp in Philadelphia, PA. And the topic of this video is going to be another day to serve the Most High. Another day to serve Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. So, as Israelites, God's chosen people, okay? You may have not heard about Israelites if you just clicked on this video for the first time. You may have not known about the nation of Israel, okay, who you actually are as a so-called black African-American Negro, okay, West Indian, Haitian, Hispanic, Native American. You may not know where your ancestry truly goes back to, okay, but according to the Bible, okay, and the Bible is a true book, you are the Israelites. The nation of Israel, God's chosen people. Okay? Because you fit the curses of Deuteronomy in the 20th chapter. Okay? And the reason why you went on punishment is because for, of your, the nation of Israel, their wicked deeds, them transgressing the law, statutes, commandments. That's why they were brought in the transatlantic slave trade. That's why the Native Americans got slaughtered. Hispanics and, um, the Hispanics got conquered by the conquistadors and rape, rob, and murder. That's why these things happen, okay? Because it's a curse. And the Heavenly Father turned his back on the nation of Israel, okay? He wouldn't hear our cries, okay? Because we moved him to wrath. But now in this time we are living in, okay? As in this recording of this video in 2020, okay? The Israelites are waking up, okay? The Israelites are waking up all across the globe, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, changing their ways and putting on the customs of being God's chosen royal separate nation, okay? And every day is another day to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, okay? You have to appreciate the situation you are in. You have to appreciate life. You have to appreciate the little things. Okay? You have to appreciate your calling, what the Most High has in store for you. Okay? Because as a nation of Israel, we're going to receive the kingdom of heaven, which is a promise the Heavenly Father gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? And of course, you need to appreciate the fact that you're God's chosen people the nation of Israel, okay? An Israelite man, an Israelite woman, okay? And start following your customs, okay? Because that's your true nature. That's what your spirit wants to do. But your flesh, your body, okay, is weak, 
okay? It's lazy, okay? It's corruptible, okay? But don't let that be an excuse for you not to try your best to serve your power because no other nation has the Yahweh Bashim Yahushai as an everlasting power. He's eternal. He's the Ancient of Days, the Almighty, okay? He exists, all-powerful, knowledge unsearchable. That is your power as an Israelite, okay? All the other heathen nations, their gods are idols, okay? Their gods are vain idols, okay? But you have the true God, okay? And you need to appreciate that and appreciate life, appreciate the little things. Every day you wake up, okay? Appreciate that, okay? Thank the Most High for every little thing. Ask Him to direct your paths, okay? Because ultimately He gave you mercy with His grace period through the blood spilled by His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, okay? Who died, okay? So we have to appreciate that. We have another day to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay? Which is our purpose, it's our reasonable service, it's our duty, it's the right thing to do. It should be your love, okay? Praying and fasting to have the Heavenly Father change you, okay? To build you, to make you more heavenly, okay? To give you more faith, He will actually do it, okay? This is real. Okay, as an Israelite listening to this video, so-called Black Hispanic Native American. Because America is going to get destroyed. The Heavenly Father will send His wrath to this world for the wicked. Okay? And the elect are going to be saved. Okay? So, act like the elect. Become the elect. Okay? Which starts, you have to spiritually change. And cut off the old person, your old person before this truth. Okay? And constantly get, become more pure for the Heavenly Father's sake. That is the goal. That's your reasonable service. Okay, as an Israelite. The greatest nation of people ever. So my first precept is going to be 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So he called you out of darkness. Because in this world, there's a lot of different seducing, wicked spirits that can get you trapped here and bring pain upon you, okay? That you regret. That's the world we live in, okay? This place is full of pain and sorrow, okay? And it can be a it's a specific holding cell trap for you so-called blacks and Spanish and Americans, okay? So do not be unwise and just think this place is good on the outside. America, wherever you're scattered, this place, life is good on the outside, okay? And you want to wor uh, worship the creations of this place, okay? Vain things, okay, that don't even profit you. It just feels good temporary. Okay, but it's actually something seducing you and grabbing you in. Okay, this is the world we live in. Okay, this place is wicked. This place is very severely wicked. So as an Israelite, the Heavenly Father called you out of that. All right, Israelites called to this faith. Okay, if you're hearing this video, all right, this message, this gospel, the Heavenly Father is giving you the opportunity, all right, to realize that I'm a heavenly creature, and I can have a place. I have a chance to escape this place and be all righteous in the kingdom that's about to come after America. Okay, I have a power that's eternal that was never created. Okay, and I have things that can benefit my life that I have to do. Okay, benefit me, and it benefits the heavenly Father, so He won't be angry with you every day like He's angry with the wicked. So you have all things laid in front of you, okay? Do not let something small ruin that forever, okay? Focus on your goal, all right? Your true passion, your true love as an Israelite, because that's your spirit, okay? Fight Satan, battle wicked thoughts in your mind, okay? And appreciate every day, another day
to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, the Most High. Okay? The ancient days, the living power. Okay? That's beyond. Okay? That's beyond. Who called you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. This is my last precept. Just two precepts straight to the point. Second Ezra chapter 3 and verse 37. Oh, receive the gift that is given you. And be glad, giving thanks unto him that have called you to the heavenly kingdom. Okay? So it says, Oh, receive the gift that is given you and be glad. Be happy. Okay? Be glad. This world is satanic and wicked. Okay? You're not going to be... Tribulations coming. Alright? Uh, um, things to test you. But still, glory and tribulations. Not jumping up and down like, oh, I'm happy. This is come out. I'm going to jump up and down. No. Just be grateful for every situation because the Heavenly Father is with you, guiding you. Okay? You're not lost in this world, in this vast world we live in. You're not lost in the darkness and sleep. Okay? Be glad, giving thanks unto him that have called you to the heavenly kingdom. Okay? To appreciate life. Okay? The little things count. Another day to serve the Most High. Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. When you wake up, be happy. Okay? Be happy every single day. That he gave you a more time to serve him and praise him in the land of your captivity. And draw nigh unto him so he can draw nigh unto you. Building your faith, fearing him, rehearsing the righteous acts. Okay, showing your faith through your actions. Okay, cutting off wicked vanities. Okay, things that are vain are not profit. That's not a profit to your spiritual growth. Okay, and strive for the end. Because we have your how about you now shy back. Okay, and that's all we need okay our power which is everlasting so all praise honor and infinite glory goes to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Rekha Kadash Shalom Yasharallah Shalom